Hello, I'm Sue Dewhurst and I'm the co-author of the book Successful Employee Communications. So I thought I'd talk about what makes successful employee communications, or actually three things that help to make someone who works well with employee communications. And the first is a focus on achieving outcomes or results. Now the danger with communication is that people usually come to you and they ask for a communication product. They'll come and say, I'd like a video, or a newsletter, or a blog, or an event, or whatever it is. And the easiest thing in the world is to want to look helpful, and to produce lots of communication products, and then to measure those products. So we tend to measure things like hit rates, how many people looked at the article, or how many people liked the article. But the danger is, just because somebody clicked on something and they liked it, doesn't mean you've actually made any difference. So the best communication managers will focus on outcomes, trying to produce a difference in what people know, how they feel, what they're doing, in order to influence positively um, a business goal. Second thing that successfully employee communicators do is they bring insight. I once worked with a finance director who every few days would wander down to my office and say, so Sue, what are people saying? What's happening in the organisation? And, and it really is helpful to be the person who can answer that question. What are people thinking? What are their concerns? What can they tell you about what customers are complaining about or processes that aren't working? You'll be a very valuable person to the management team if you can bring that kind of insight. And the last thing is, great communicators help change happen. They can move people from A to B. Organisations like to think that people will embrace change, um, they think we're quite rational, that if you tell people why they should change and what they should do, they'll do it. But actually, human beings are a lot less rational than we like to think. So if you know a little bit about neuroscience, a little bit about why people do the things they do, and you can help change happen, you will really be a more successful employee communicator.